Hey, what's up guys? I'm JC and this is Hot Wings and Things with DCM where we ask our guests the tough questions while they try to survive the heat. So today we have Hudson Jones. He joined our team in 2022 as a client growth specialist, but recently transitioned into our Little Rock market leader where he helps people in Little Rock grow their businesses. So yep. how are you doing? I'm doing great. I've been doing a lot of prep work for this, Good. but I am still not ready. Okay, so me neither. So it's going to be it. great. All right, so we're going to jump right in. Uh, we Our wings are already tossed in the sauce, Correct. but I mean, we want to kick it up a notch. So we're going to go ahead and go ahead, drizzle oh, just sauce so, over every so wing. So some of this right here. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got uh, Chipotle. <laughs> Chipotle. All Chipotle. right. Here we go. So. so you spent some time overseas. Do you want to tell me like where you were, what you're doing there, and like how that impacted your life? Yeah, so I did. I grew up in Slovakia. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. How fast do I have to eat it? Like, is, there, is there any rules here? I don't think there's any rules. Just okay. do whatever it feels right. It feels right already. I lived in a uh, in the capital at first, Bratislava, or Bratislava, if you will. Then I moved to a city on the Czech border, Czech-Polish border, called Žilina. And so I lived there for about 13 years. Uh, from the age of two to 15. <clears throat> oh, wow. Yep. What was that like? Did you go to like Slovak, is it Slovak or Slovakian? Slovak, Slovak. Okay, did you go to Slovak school or? I did. So uh, I actually started out in a Hungarian preschool because my parents just sent me to school and they thought it was Slovak, but we were down by the Hungarian border and I, I actually learned hung uh, Hungarian first. Uh, they didn't realize until about a year in that I was speaking Hungarian instead of Slovak. <laughs> Uh, so they put me in a Slovak school, uh, but I was too, you know, I was young, so I was able to um, learn English at home, learn Slovak in the schools uh, pretty quickly. Wow, that's and so, awesome. yeah, so I still uh, am able to speak it today. That's so cool. Yeah. Wow. So before you started working at DCM, you had a career in music. So yes. tell me about that. So uh, ever since I was five, I have been playing the piano. I actually hated, hated going to lessons. My parents made me do piano for, you know, about 20 years, I guess, until I went to college. A second here. That's a little bit of a, a little bit of different flavor. A little bit of a, yeah. It's, it's kind of like vinegary. Yeah. The older I got, the older, the more I realized that I could play by ear. Mm. And so I started writing my own songs. So about age 13 or 14, I started composing. My face is getting a little hot <laughs> and we're on round two, so. <laughs> I'm Five really excited. Go. Started writing my own music. Um, did a lot of composing, um, kind of classical style piano music, but then I uh, loved pop songs and started releasing some of those. Um, got into worship music, playing in the church. Yeah, so I'm a, a singer and a piano player, and that's one of my favorite things that I get to do. Yeah, so. that's awesome. All right, we're moving on to three. What do we got here? What's this we got, one? It just says garlic. Garlic. But it looks like it has some Okay, heat. so this is perfect. So <laughs> this is like Slovakia, like totally, like we love garlic a lot. So I'm gonna kinda go. go a little bit overboard on this <laughs> one. So. <clears throat> so tell me Get a little bit. Moist in here. <laughs> moist in the drum. <laughs> <laughs> tell me a little bit about your position as the Little Rock market leader. Like what inspired <laughs> you to take that position? I came on as a client growth specialist <laughs> and um, I actually spent a lot of my life in Little Rock, so started doing sales uh, in Little Rock, but uh, really just saw an awesome opportunity with us having our own office, um, really our own franchise in Little Rock. Glenn Crockett started talking to me about that, and I loved uh, the idea of us having our own team there, not just here in Conway. And I, I really liked the idea of um, plugging myself into a local community and just serving there locally. Mm -hmm. I, I love the idea of helping local businesses grow. Yeah. So we want to be <clears throat> present in Little Rock as someone that if you think, okay, I, I want to grow my business. I need help with anything online, uh, anything within digital marketing that, uh, who do I think of first? And that, that's mm -hmm. who I want to be is uh, really the first call for people uh, if they're looking to grow their business on, yeah. online. So it's that's been fun. fun. How are you feeling about the wings, the spiciness level? I'm in, a great, I'm in a great spot right now. 
All right. I think that's good. Moving I on. like the variety. Yeah, me too. What are the rules on like uh, water and uh, I see you if have you a If you drink big... water, you're weak. If uh, you drink milk, okay. <laughs> you're extra weak. <laughs> Okay. So, so basically, we're no, gonna stay strong. It's there to tempt you. I'm gonna you. stay strong. It's there to tempt you, but you can't. <laughs> you, you can can't, smell it. You can smell it. Yeah. It doesn't. Yeah, it smells like water. I guess so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what do we got here? My nose is running a little bit. Uh, we're on number four of seven. So this is cayenne. Cayenne, love cayenne. I'm still doing okay, surprisingly. So good, good. We'll see. I am too. <laughs> All right. What's your favorite part of your job? Of what you do now? Finish this guy up here. I didn't really have breakfast, which was nice. In preparation. Yeah, because I knew all the acid. No, that doesn't make any sense. So my little tummy is doing well. <laughs> um, I had a bunch of coffee, so that helps Perfect, too. yeah. Coffee and hot sauce. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so uh, my favorite thing is getting to talk to a client about the strategy mm. Uh, to get them in front of more of the right people. Yeah. So we're creating a targeted strategy for them in a, in a system to help them really increase their revenue. And so my favorite thing is thinking through, it's almost like a puzzle and I'm a big puzzle guy. So yeah. I love, love building puzzles. So I get to think through, okay, what are the pieces that they might be missing? And maybe they have a marketing strategy already. Um, maybe they're doing some stuff that is working. And how can we come in as a partner and plug in these pieces so that they have a very, very clear customer journey. Mm. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to create a bridge. So there's people out there that have a problem and our clients haven't, oh, you're already coming to the on. next one. The, our clients have a great solution. And so we, oh, I told right, you right, I would do right, it right, for right, you. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. So what we're doing here, helping our clients have no gaps in the customer journey. There's no gaps in that bridge from the problem out there to the really, really good solution. Okay. And so I get to think through that strategy, but then I get to take it back to my team uh, here uh, in Conway, and we get to think through the best solution so that they're gonna meet their goals. That's awesome. It is awesome. And this, this wing is gonna be awesome too. <laughs> this is mango habanero, a little bit of sweet, mm -hmm. like me. Uh, it, <laughs> It, it, I'm hoping that it kind of counteracts what's going on here. Mm -hmm. So tell me more about like your team in Little Rock, what that's like, what your day-to-day -day looks like. Well, it's usually days like this. <laughs> we're, um, Normal. we're doing a lot of wing eating. Um, so I actually was by myself for a while because our structure, <laughs> the way it's set up is we have, oh. I'm feeling a little. Oh, that's I'm great. Feeling... Oh, so Okay, here. Let me turn this off. So for the first, I guess, eight months or six months or so, I'm feeling it a little bit. <laughs> me too. That's good. We got two more. Yeah. <laughs> it's happening. It's That's happening. Great. See how like when I poured a bunch on, uh -huh, yeah. it feels a little I bit different. It, uh -huh. Um, we don't have to do Where that every time. Your eyes are sweating. Um, don't take the water, but you, you can smell not. it. Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> so it was me by myself because we have a whole team in Conway that is uh, supporting our clients. So what I'm trying to do is just build relationships. So my day to day is building relationships with new clients and then continuing the relationships that we have with uh, current clients and really um, meeting with them, consulting them, uh, talking about Again, <clears throat> talking about their goals and how we can uh, better um, reach those goals together. Yeah. So, but uh, look, single tear. Yeah, I see it. Is it tears? Is it sweat? We'll never know. Get that close up right there. Um, so, uh, we hired um, a new a client success specialist. That's awesome. uh, her name's Autumn, and she's amazing. Autumn, you are awesome, and I'm so glad you are on my team. All right, we're going to move on to wing number six. That's five. This is just habanero. There's no mango to oh, cool it down. That's with. nice. Okay, can you tell me a little bit about like the services that no. <laughs> DCM offers Not right to now. help clients grow? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Tastes good. Mm -hmm. Good flavor. No immediate spice. No, it's fine. 
Which means it's gonna get us later. Yeah, that's what the mango it's one for did. The slow burn. And there's no mango. Is my <laughs> is my face really wet? Does my face look wet? <laughs> This is so much fun. I don't know how to eat wings the right way. I know there's this <laughs> way that you can like. Yeah. I don't know, but I'm just. <laughs> okay. I'm just trying um, to breathe. Focusing on breathing. <clears throat> services. What services does DCM offer to clients? So our services, we have a lot of things that we do, but <laughs> it's always custom to what our client needs. Okay. So a lot of times I don't like to just list like, hey, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Because yeah. I want to sit down with the client and talk about their specific needs and goals. Wow, are you burping at all? <laughs> no, I'm not, sorry. I don't know. It's like, it's like it wants to come out. <laughs> uh, so I sit down with the client and we're talking about those specific needs. So that can mean anything from uh, social media management where we're posting on a regular basis, um, that can include video, so we have an in-house video team here. Um, photography. I'm, I'm just My calm. head feels like, mm, like Are I'm you gonna be okay? A little lightheaded, I think I'm gonna be okay. No, yeah, no, good. under no circumstances. <clears throat> Am I drinking milk? Um, the uh, video team, in We're spiraling, we're spiraling. Um, <laughs> we, uh, of course we focus on uh, SEO. Uh, mm -hmm. Specifically, you know, uh, being visible in Google or search yeah. engines, uh, optimizing a Google business profile. <laughs> Man, tears for one. Um, website management, website development, building the whole site. But all of this, each of those pieces, um, we want to make sure that they're connected. So we call it a connected marketing architecture. So we want to make sure there's not just a standalone thing because a lot of businesses out there have um, maybe like four or five different people doing maybe one or two of those things, but they're not talking to each other, not connected. So having someone like us, that's your partner, that can bring that all in house, where we're all in the same room, we're talking to each other, where the, the website and the conversion, the conversions on the website, the, the call to action, all of that um, is, is based off of what was happening before in the ad that we ran, let's say um, on YouTube or a, a CTV ad because we want to make sure that that ad is sending you to a specific page that is going to help you get exactly what you need. Yep. And then from there, you have the next step to apply mm -hmm. or schedule the consultation. The very clear, or buy or you know from beginning to end, like what you're yeah. doing. So what we call it CMA, for. Connected Marketing Architecture. Yeah. Uh, it can also stand for Captivate, Motivate, and then Activate as a happy client, patient, customer. All that. Yeah, that's great. All right, final <clears throat> thing, are you ready? Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm actually fine. Like, yeah. like I know I can go through yeah. with this. There's just gonna be a lot of water flowing from my face. That's great. But it's okay. All right. So we went habanero. Uh -huh. What is this one? This just says extra hot. I don't have any <laughs> information about what's in it or, just or extra. what we're getting into. So. so that was hot and now it's just a little extra bit extra. Hot. The color looks a little unnatural. <laughs> it does look a little unnatural. Seven. They grew that in a holy, lab. Holy number. They grew that in the lab. Lucky sure. number seven. So, uh, do you think that this has been worth it this time eating hot wings oh, and yeah, yes, hanging out? Yes. I. Uh, if you want to do this again, I will. I'm ready. I want to make you a this recommendation thing. of any of those people behind the camera. <laughs> but no, I'll, I'll definitely do this. Uh, okay, uh, I should probably take a bite before you ask the question. <sighs> okay, this is just a fun, random question. So I actually talked to your wife and asked her. Oh. And she mentioned Lord of the Rings. Oh my goodness. And so I don't have a specific question, I guess, but favorite Lord of the Rings movie or what's your favorite fun fact about Lord of the Rings that you want to share with us today? Oh, that's cool. Uh, favorite Lord of the Rings movie is The Fellowship of the Ring. Are you okay? I'm doing good. What's wrong? My eyes are watering. What happened? I don't know. It's spicy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Extra. just very moved by your love of Fellowship of the Ring. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I cried. Beautiful. It was also, I watched The Fellowship of the Ring uh, when <clears throat> we moved back from Slovakia and it was uh, a big change. I was like 15 yeah. and you get to the part of Boromir's death and he gets pierced by three arrows and I just lost it. <laughs> I lost it. Man. Best part. All right, Lord of the Rings fun fact. Fun fact? I'm gonna go all the way, I guess. My leg's shaking from the spice. Really? I'm having like a physical reaction. That's cool. Yeah. 
Um, that's pretty good. You know what would actually top it off? What? Is if you grab the plate. And just like drink it? And drink it. Yeah. Uh, I, don't I don't think know. I'm gonna do that. Okay. But That'd you, be really cool. If you want me to do that, I can do that. You could, you can do that while you answer my question. Okay, so back to Lord of the Rings. <laughs> the, the problem is that a lot of people will say the typical thing that Viggo Mortensen broke his toe when he kicked the Urukai's helmet, you know, yeah. in two towers. But, um, so I don't like to do that. I don't know, I don't know something fun. I do know that, I, I mean, I heard they're gonna come out with a uh, animated Lord of the Rings movie, which is super exciting. Which one did you do? I just, I'm on six. Oh, so just one more. Yeah. Um, that is uh, about Rohan. And it's a really the storm storm story of Helm's Deep, where it started when Helm Hammerhand uh, basically brought the people into the you know the citadel there and stuff. So anyway, really, cool. really excited about that to come out. Hopefully that'll be soon. But I don't know. I can't believe. Are you just gonna like? like I'm not gonna, gonna, gonna drink do? the whole thing. I'm just gonna sip it because you drink from your plate. I just felt like this was a good way to incorporate all. Yeah, I spices. wouldn't go hard. Like I would just. Yeah. Okay. Um. Go. Mm -hmm. It just tastes really bad. I don't hate it. <laughs> it hurts. I don't get it. If you're a business owner in Little Rock and you want to grow your business, you can contact Hudson. Yes, and that doesn't just have to be Little Rock. That can be all the way down to Hot Springs, North Little Rock, really all the central Arkansas area. LinkedIn is the best way to connect with me. I have all my contact info there and would love to uh, build our network so that it's through LinkedIn. So would love to talk to you guys. Thank you so much for yeah, having me. Thanks for being it's here. It's been wonderful. Thanks for eating these hot wings. I, yeah. And other things. <clears throat>